That's why you want to avoid crabs, boys and girls. <laughs> Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard uh, Murder Hobo Inc. We're going live in Cacophony, our urban adventure. Our three urbanites are here. They're ready to go. Thanks for sticking with us. Last week, we took the week off because, quite frankly, I just was tired. <laughs> very very t i'm old and i'm tired and i have no stamina and i'm crusty and get off my lawn uh follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about dnd &D, join us on our discord channel down below if you want cool stuff like this shirt uh the link is down there that shirt too uh most importantly if you want a seat on one of our one shots next week uh m hobo inc twitter gmail hit us up we will get you on there also if you want to join us on the talk show uh folks like i said this is the cacophony urbanite adventure uh we'll go ahead and explain to you it what's going on uh first we will start with a thorn between two roses david david tell us who you are who you're playing hi i'm david uh i usually play zadar the shapeshifter uh changeling <laughs> uh arcane trickster um I'm usually found here on Thursday nights on Cacophony and a lot of times on the Tuesday show between the rolls. So, What form are you taking tonight? I am going, um, no one in particular, but just, you know, hardcore punk girl. <laughs> We're talking mohawk, punk, everything. Punk female. Yep. Okay. As you wish. Hope that goes well. Uh, one of our two roses of the evening, Caitlin, who is out in sunny Arizona right now. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? <laughs> Although it's dark and cold right now because it's nighttime. It's nighttime in the desert. <laughs> For reason. Um, I, I am Daphne, a very tired tiefling apparently tonight. And I am Paladin. What? You drank too much last night. Uh, and traveling and the time adjustment and waking up earlier for work. Confession is never good for the soul, young one. <laughs> Finally, our other rose, uh, normally our producer, also producing tonight, also playing tonight. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name's Carrie, and I am playing a wizard necromancer named Camille who likes coffee a lot and cheese when she can get it. <coughs> outstanding uh <laughs> folks if you uh saw the link earlier or if you've been following along you know that cacophony is the site of a trade convention conference get together a lot of regional heads are here like uh the, the party is yes it's like the g8 only medieval ish uh these guys have already met and had to deal with a few of them tonight they're going to deal with more of them as the conference starts to get kicked off trouble ensues as one of the main delegates is mia no one can find him to further complicate the matter his second in command has implicated a neighboring country as the most likely villains in this nefarious kidnapping. Uh, the call has gone over to the Adventurers Guild from none other than Councilman Famunda D's Nuts, previous Adventurers Guild master. Uh, <laughs> you have been called to the governmental plaza where the conference is taking place. Sadly for Camille, uh, her favorite coffee spot, the Flying J, is on the <laughs> far side so it doesn't look like she'll be getting java anytime soon i didn't get any last time either talk to your husband that's his problem uh, <laughs> okay uh as you head that way uh you notice that the entire plaza is cordoned off and colorful tents abound in the plaza the plethora of guards indicate that uh security is tight here however they recognize two of you. They recognize all three pins denoting your Adventurer's Guild status, and they allow you in. Uh, these guards uh, are familiar with you. You are not familiar with them. Uh, they point out, are you here to assist uh, Councilman D's nuts? 
<laughs> yes, yeah. we're, hel we're helping from under these nuts. <laughs> uh, they give you the left, right, right, left directions. Uh, you surmise that the middle of the plaza is home to where you can find your beloved guild master. As you walk through, you notice that each of the colorful tents holds a handful of not delegates, uh, sometimes delegates, never delegates. Uh, it appears as though each group uh, has put up a tent so that their master delegate could have some place to relax in between sessions. So sometimes you will see delegates talking to their subordinates. Sometimes you will just see the entourages hanging out. As you weave your way through, you are uh, weaving in and out of the colorful tents, you discover a loud verbal argument and quickly realize that it is your former master. Uh, you round the corner and Fomunda is attempting to calm down a group of hill dwarves in blue kilts. Uh, the tartan plaid are all blues. Uh, Hortense is also present, which is unusual considering it is broad daylight. It's about 2 p.m. in the afternoon. What would you like to do? Uh, I guess uh, go up and ask Hortense. Psst, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, Hortense looks at you. Uh, clearly, she is in uh, attack mode uh, in case somebody. Uh, harbors ill will against Fomunda as the argument is getting heated. Finally, Fomunda starts to get the delegation quieted down uh, and uh, Hortense, who is second in command at the guild, quickly explains that the Toman envoy has disappeared and is second in command, Capo, present here in his blue tartan, uh, has placed the blame squarely on the shoulders of their country neighbors, the sen sentient delegates. This has understandably gone poorly as Capo does not have the tact uh, that his boss, Rodrigo, uh, <laughs> has in these matters. Uh, yes, folks, it's going to be a Scottish Hildorf named Rodrigo. Uh, Fomunda gets the delegation quieted down and introduces the PCs as members of high standing in the guild. Uh, the Toman envoy, unimpressed. <laughs> They're dwarves. They're never impressed. <laughs> they're, they're dwarves, but they can see eye to eye with two of you. They size up the tiefling uh, and check on the horns. Uh, but again, eh, not so much. Uh, the party uh, is introduced, and Fomunda says he has an important empire business to attend to. If you guys could work your magic and get this resolved, he would be duly appreciative. Okay. Uh, Capo looks at six. Uh, Daphne. Uh, hey, tall, dark, and horny. What do you want? <laughs> Great. Now I'm a Watto from Yeah. I was... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Accent gone, just like that. Just uh, like that, folks. So Tiefling, uh, he's looking at you, kind of sizing you up, not in a sexual way, because that'd be rude, uh, and possibly not worth his climb. But he wants to know, uh, what's your, what are you going to do for us? Uh, the Scottish just disappeared on me. Fuck it. <laughs> right <Angry>. to Russian. <laughs> yep. So angry. He is angry. His, um, his one eyebrow says it all. Yeah. Ew. It's cocked. <laughs> what we're gonna do for him? Yes. What do you, What do you need done? A diplomat is missing. You need to find him. Are you is gonna help us? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just fucking zipping in and out. It doesn't matter. Yeah, everybody's Russian here. That's what it is. The Tomans are now Russian. Fuck it. They aren't dwarves in here. They're hill dwarves, but they're Russian. They're not Scottish. They're still wearing the blue plaid kilt, though. Right. Yeah. Fomunda guess... said that you would go ahead and uh, find our guy. You can start with those bastardos, uh, the Sensians. No. What about 
What was the last whereabouts you've seen him? Good question. Uh, he was uh, at our our hotel, our place, our our thingy where we stay. I think that's what you call it, place. Uh, it is a uh, rusty vessel arms down on the docks. Beautiful place. Smell like fish. <laughs> <laughs> I wave at him. Hello. Give me a persuasion check. Oh boy. <laughs> 17. Hello, pretty short one. <laughs> you may be worth climb. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so what are you going to do to help us? So why do you think it was uh, the, what's the, sen what is it called? The Sensian? Sen Sensian. 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 Why do you think it's the Sensian? The they are bastardos. Well, that may be, but. <laughs> Our leader, he was out uh, on the town uh, looking for, uh, uh, how you say, a hooch. I thought you said the last time you saw him was at the hotel. Yes, and he left to go get hooch. By himself? Hooch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, here hooch means something else, yes. but sure. What does it mean to you? Beer. <laughs> Why not call that beer? I don't know. <laughs> you have weird hair. Give me persuasion check. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, persuasion. All right, 21. You have weird hair. Looks like it, uh, the, the, how you say, ass cleaning brush. Sure. <laughs> we'll go with that. Wow. So, tall, dark, and horny. What are you going to do? Where are you going to find him? Go, you, you tall like the, the sentience. Go kick the shit out of them. I think it's sheet, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Go kick the shit out of them. Bring back our man. So he left the hotel and to go get hooch. hooch. To go get hooch. Okay. Yes. Did you see which way he went? I don't watch him when he gets hooch. It's not pleasant. <laughs> okay. Maybe we check the brothels. I guess. You know, she doesn't have to duck down. She can just walk like a normal human. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a friggin' serial killer when she does that. She's doing. She's doing the the walking downstairs. That's trick. right. <laughs> Uh, so Capo wants you, uh, tall, dark, and horny, to go ahead and find uh, their leader, Rodrigo. Uh, and la he was last seen at the Rusty Vessel Arms uh, going after Hooch. Uh, mm -hmm. and, but they're pretty sure that the Sensian delegation is responsible for his abduction. Okay. Well, um, perhaps we should start at the hotel. Yes. And yeah. try to think which brothel is the closest to the hotel. You have your Sneed's guide with you, right? <laughs> I do. <laughs> you will be happy to know that the closest one is right next door awesome. at Petticoat Junction. Petticoat so Junction. There's there the Rusty yeah, Village. There's the yeah. Uh, there's Petticoat Junction. Wow. Nice. Okay. Hey, even Dia make it easy on you. Go tell those sentients uh, they go fuck themselves. Did I use that right? Go fuck themselves? Yeah. You got it right. Your language, <laughs> your language is disturbing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, do you, you want to go down to the docks or you want to talk to the sentients first? Are the sentients nearby? Them. You follow the stench. Yeah, they're in your butt. I smell those bathardos. They are over there somewhere. They're highfalutin clean tents. Who wants to sit in a clean tent that has no aroma? I can't imagine. <laughs> As the wind shifts, you notice the fermenting aroma of man armpit. <laughs> man armpit. We gotta get out of Dwarven this. Dwarven ass. <laughs> no. The color brown. That's right. <laughs> It is kind of a, a ripe as the wind comes up and over the tunnel. Uh, <laughs> but yes, if you want to talk to the sentients, follow your nose. Those bastardos are close to the close to your building, which is made of stone. We're we're there. We're going. 
Yeah. Uh, weaving through the collection of delegates and their entourages, we'll find you at the Sensian tent. Uh, the small group is listening intently to a human individual who is quite upset. She's giving uh, a Norma Ray type speech. Oh. Uh, reaching the edge of the group, you hear several disturbing <laughs> racial slurs, clearly oriented towards the Toman group. Uh, the speaker turns, and it is a woman of extraordinary beauty. Uh, and she is wearing bright ceremonial armor. She looks at you, Camille, and says, what are you looking at, runt? <laughs> A cunt, obviously. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> <laughs> They do not understand that word, so... Well, that's just fine. Yes, I am your cunt now. Yes, you are my cunt. <laughs> I'm here to ask my cunt some questions. <laughs> Who are you, and why should I answer any of your questions? Because we are with the Adventurers Guild, and we're here investigating the missing person. Uh, she receives a tug on her ceremonial armor uh, as someone whispers something to her. She exhales loudly <clears throat> and points out that she is Legionnaire and General Missy Tulork. How may I assist you individuals? Well, Missy Cunt, how would you... Uh... Pretty strong words, Runt! <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's right. Um, so, we have an accusation by the Clennons? Ah, the Tomans. The Tomans. Uh, there we go. That you have absconded with their leader. A, do you smell him here? <laughs> B, <No. laughs> that's why we picked the red spot to be as far away from those and she utters a just a string of words that you do not understand all of them are very harsh possibly germanic in origin none of them appear to be positive you get the distinct knowledge that she has nothing but disdain for these individuals hmm. after saying that she just stares blankly at you. So why would they say that? Because they are, and this would be the point where we'd bleep me out. <laughs> As she goes on a profane tirade about the size of their penises and their mother's lineage. Uh, oh, I also I'm mentions, sorry you were disappointed sexually by one of them. We don't need to know that. She also mentions the fact that if you're looking for their leader try any goat pen because he's probably looking for a better looking wife. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, you, you're very pleasant. Now we can understand why they're hostile to cunt. each other. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> well, uh, Missy Cunt, <laughs> we'll take our leave <laughs> now and we might be back to ask you some more questions. Uh, Zadar, uh, a runner approaches you and taps you on the shoulder and does this as uh, Camille and Daphne are taking in the last vestiges of the profanity. Okay, <laughs> keeping my hand on my dagger, I lean in. Yes. <laughs> I was told to tell you that a body has been found down in Old Town and it's wearing a kilt. Um, oh, <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> The sentient, sentient uh, diplomats burst into laughter, <laughs> and Missy to Lork leans in and goes, Was it a goat farmer? <laughs> wow. Okay. Lady, they just shut up on the suspect you're list. A piece of work, lady. <laughs> Thank oh. you. <laughs> and where were you last night, Missy Cunt? Mm -hmm. I was practicing my skill at arms. Where? Where? Uh, at the red spot. Okay. Fair enough. We had some berserker barbarians decided that they wanted to take over the place. Oh, those guys. That did not end well for them. 
Really? Okay. And she pulls forth a long braid of hair Ew. and oh, no. drops it. Wow. <laughs> You're was hardcore. There a, was, there, was there a scalp attached to the... <laughs> there was the not any flesh attached to it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Tell her that was much better. <laughs> yeah. that, did, that didn't make her look creepy at all. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay. <laughs> Although next time she should pick up a, some cutlery and just... <laughs> behind, right uh, behind you that's right so uh you. you have a suspect and the location of a body okay what would you like to do uh, well the um, red spot will be on your way to old town if you care to investigate as will the flying j okay oh all right so yes an investigation and copy that's right let's, let's do this. go <laughs> Uh, I believe you will hit the flying J first, followed by the red spot. Oh, okay. Nope, I stand corrected. Red spot first, then flying J. Okay. Uh, which would you like to handle first? Oh, I'm trying to remember what was first. the bartender. Yeah, what was the bartender's name at the red spot? I actually don't think I wrote that down. Okay, that wasn't one of the places. We didn't go there on the night of the long passing. Uh, that Correct. wasn't one of them. Okay. That w that was earlier. That was okay. where you found the barbarians and broke into the room. Uh, yes. As you leave, one of the sentient delegates goes, bah, 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 bah. Are you guys into role playing? Are, are, you, uh, are you the go? We, we do not play D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't meaning that kind of role playing. I do not understand. Uh, was, uh, okay. okay. Uh, the, the legionnaire goes back into the building where Fomunda went. Clearly, the next session is about to start. The other delegates are filing in one by one. Their retinues are outside, uh, catcalling each other. As you can tell, it will be a very tense and terse situation uh, for the next several days as these fuckers don't seem to get along uh oh. you make it back out onto the road and ahead of you on the right is the red spot just beyond that is the flying j red spot yeah <laughs> uh you go in uh who wants to go in first now this um, is a bar it's a bar and an inn okay, okay. if you right. remember the uh they were throwing <clears throat> hand axes right. at small people on the left and then upstairs were rooms. I'll let one of the tall people go in. Okay. <laughs> There's only one tall per well, I guess the changeling stall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um the the race of the punk rat girl is half elf, so I got the pointed ears, so which one of you wants to go in, Daphne or Zadar? I'll mm. do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Daphne, give me a perception check. nine you see the bartender definitely a bar guys <laughs> it's definitely a bar well remember you walk straight in and the bar is right there then there are stairs over to the side and then there are tables and chairs over to the other side okay uh walking in i i do like a quick scan do i see the barbarians perception check okay uh, let's see. Perception. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 25. Yes, there are two uh, berserkers minus their long locks mm -hmm. uh, looking grim over at a table as they soak their sorrows in their beer. Okay. Are these the same ones that... Um... Okay. Nope. Different clan or... No, different group. Okay. I go over to talk to them. Oh, boy. That can't... Did we pick up the, the braid? Oh, I don't want to touch that thing. No, I was about that. to say that would have been great to give it back no. to him. Hey, <laughs> you're missing this. Uh, thank you. My penis was getting cold. I'm glad you brought it back. Uh, <laughs> Daphne, uh, we'll start with you and the bartender. What would you like to ask him? Uh, About uh, who they uh, see. The guy? They seen the guy? Which guy? The missing Rodrigo? Yeah. Clendon. I don't know who that Clendon. is. Clendon. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's wiping out a glass. <laughs> spits in it. Continues to wipe it out. I don't they know who don't that is. They wear kilts? Blue. Blue kilts. 
Yeah, I've anybody in a kilt come in here last night? Nope. Nope. What about some... Somebody in shiny armor getting a little tussle uh, with the barbarians? The, <laughs> the legionnaire bitch? Yeah, she yes. was here. Their whole group was staying upstairs. Wow. Okay. We call them cunts, I yell from across the room. Uh, the berserkers know that word. Ew, ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit, drink. <laughs> you are small, but you are hearty. <laughs> yes, I am stocky. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, any other questions for the barkeep? Uh, what happened last night with the tussle between the legionnaire and the barbarians? That, uh, uh, the berserkers are still pretty pissed that they lost their uh, cues. Oh, okay. They uh, insulted her and uh, made comments. <laughs> Were they justified? Not really, because she had just walked in and her shiny armor was a distraction to them. Mm hmm. Well, Although, yes. <laughs> well, we know a blade was produced during the altercation. Did you happen to see what it was? Was it a sword, dagger? It was the dagger that she keeps on her uh, right inner thigh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I did not notice that. How did I not notice that? Oh. It's covered by armor. That's, yeah, that's How did true. she get to it then? It's the handle is tucked just underneath the armor piece and she can pull it out because it has a ring on it. <laughs> nice. Okay. nice. Okay. She'll cut a bitch. She'll cut a bitch. That's right. Over at the table, the uh, weird hairless kind of berserkers uh, kick Ooh. out a chair for you, Camille. Uh, have a seat. Oh, wait a minute. These guys aren't rushing. Have a seat, woman. <laughs> oh, thanks. I don't mind if I do. Can I buy you around? Yes. I gesture for more beer. Being short, it's more like this. <laughs> uh, but the waitress hustles over three mugs of ale. So I hear you guys ran into that missy cunt person. I don't know who that is. The the bitch in the armor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would have had her if I hadn't had so much to drink and she was distracting me with her hefty bosoms. Okay. So, what was the problem? She's a bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, but was there any other reason? Uh, we offered her the opportunity to go ahead and have a romantic interlude. For some reason, these barbarians seem to be a little bit higher on the... I was about to down. say, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, she went ahead and passed. I myself was uh, schooled in Sensia, so I can speak their lingo. Apparently hmm. not that well, though. So, okay. the... Um... So he's like a Braveheart kind of barbarian. Oh, oh, gotcha. Uh -huh. Okay. With a shitty mullet. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was well, awful. <laughs> um, so the McLennan clan claims that she took their leader. Do you think uh, that's possible? I don't know who that is. Hmm. Rodrigo in a blue kilt. <laughs> no. Nobody came in here on last night? Okay. Not a blue kilt. Gotcha. Do you notice anything else about them while you were fighting them? Yeah, that bitch got to her blade pretty fast. Had the uh, guards not come in, I think she might have uh, scraped my man pelt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow. Hello. Last time I had that done, it was by a cleric to relieve... Uh, itching okay <laughs> did he give you a shampoo or something no <laughs> he gave me a tiny comb <laughs> a tiny comb there you go so when the guard and came, you can tell that's over caitlin's head <laughs> <laughs> um so when the guards came what happened uh they broke up the fight 
he got his hair back, but we never did find mine. Mm. Well, if if I come across it, I'll see if I can get it back to you. <laughs> Good. Okay, well. They, they're going to focus their attention on you. So. Me? Yeah, for, okay. apparently for buying a beer. They okay. seem to be very cordial with you. Okay. And they keep trying to hide the lack of hair. The hair. hair. <laughs> Oh, it, it's a good look for you guys. I wouldn't worry about it. So, uh, thanks. For oh, because the... it's the hair that got chopped off. Oh. Yep. Yep. So... It's, it's like a double V in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll let you guys go. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks for the beer, lovely lady. No problem. Anytime. If you're, if you're ever looking for a climb. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I got the stairway to heaven. <laughs> are they, what are they wearing too bad we don't have a bard <laughs> they are wearing uh, loincloths one is a two and one is a six what's that mean out of 20 like attractiveness <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. not not very okay so okay. i hop down off of the stool and i grab the one around his calf roll <laughs> To make sure that you reach his calf. The two or the six? No. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Am I rolling a 20? Yep. <laughs> Not one. one. Six. Ah, uh, stay off the coin purse, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just steadying myself. And that was the two. For some reason, he didn't appreciate the grope. Maybe you were pinchy. <laughs> My apologies. That's to say. <laughs> Normally, the two would be grateful of, for a win, but right, not today. Good thing. Okay, I guess we better go get some coffee. Okay, ladies, let's head to the Flying J. <laughs> you guys leave. You go a block. Uh, flying J is there. Who wants to d twelve against me? Uh, sure, I will. Eleven. Big line, big line. Gonna take about a half hour to get up to the barista. Oh lord. Oh, oh, wow. All right. I guess we can come back later. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait for the crowd to go down. <laughs> we'll get it on the way back. <laughs> Sir, uh, the road leading out the west gate is dead ahead, down on the slant. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll notice that the guards who are normally voluminous here, are a little bit patchy. Apparently most of the guard units have been called to the government section to quell any hostilities. Gotcha. As you head down the cobblestone walkway, you pass several vendors coming in, you pass several oxen, horse-drawn, etc., etc. You pass through the gate. Uh, the two guards there. What's up? Give you the nod, uh, and you wander outside uh, from your high perch in Old Town. Looking down towards the water, you see a crowd has gathered. Is this where the body mm. is? Yeah, that's probably it. Probably. Uh, I guess we better go look. Uh, push your way through the crowd, boys mm -hmm. and girls. Give oh, me we attack roll. My... Attack rolls? <laughs> Attack rolls, but you're just pushing your way through. 14. Got my quarter step out. Quack, quack, quack. Am I adding a modifier? <laughs> nope. Just straight up attack rolls. Straight up 11. Okay. Daphne? 18. Oh, Daphne just, just plows barges the away through. <laughs> uh, you uh, push your way up to the front, which is right by the water. Uh, and I passed over it. Uh, you notice a badly chewed body wearing a colorful blue kilt is spotted on the shoreline. However, a rather enormous crocodile is feasting on the arm. Seriously, oh. people getting scared away. What the fuck? This thing is a challenge rating five. It ain't afraid of too much. Oh, Lord. So is this like a giant crocodile or just a big crocodile? It is a giant crocodile. It is a giant crocodile. Is it? Is this Dibbles? No, Gary doesn't have teeth. Correct. Damn it. Okay. 
Uh, I was about to say, I was trying to put it all D- together. Yeah, Dibble, this isn't no, Gary. This is not Dibble Fibbets Gary, the uh, pet alligator. Uh-huh. Uh, alligator sees your approach and continues to <laughs> on the arm. Uh, everybody give me a perception check, please. 20. Not perceptive. Uh, 14. And Daphne? 10. Uh, <laughs> Daphne notices it's a kilt, uh, but Zadar and Camille say, he, uh, that is Toman Blue right there. Mm-hmm. So how are you going to get this giant crocodile away from the body? Uh, are there children? Oh, yeah. are, are there children nearby? <laughs> hey, there's no TV, so you know everybody's gathered to watch this thing eat. Uh, push it's them, like... push child. So <laughs> <laughs> that was about to say that. How wow, is the arm still attached to the body? For the time being, that uh, crocodile is making short work of it. I was it, gonna though. say, could we just pull the other side? Maybe the arm will give way. Uh. Give me like, a nature. try to pull the body. <laughs> yeah, give me give me a nature check, Camille. Wow, that's not gonna go well. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, that tail looks menacing on that thing. Wow. Oh wait, no, I get a plus three. Thirteen. <laughs> no. Same result. Oh damn it! Okay. Um... <laughs> Huh. Daphne, uh, D12 against me. 12. Really? One. Oh. Uh, all of the kids have been sent away. Oh, that's so disappointing. <laughs> Lucky for them. All right, is there... Hmm, Elderly folks. Babies either? No, I don't think they Babies, like yes. You're heroes, remember? <laughs> I tell you what. It's Hobo Inc., but, you know. I create a minor illusion because it's a five foot diameter and all that. I make it look like a child standing next to the crocodile. Like a nice roasting child. What would a save be for that? Uh, <laughs> for, for an illusion, I mean, it would just bite right through it. There wouldn't be a save. I mean, it's just an illusion. Yeah, but doesn't it get a save to see if they... Oh, oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, that would be a, uh, a 15 wisdom check, I guess. Uh, that's a 19 minus... Oh, wisdom? Uh, well, hold on. See if I... Uh, intelligence, intelligence. Uh, uh, 19 minus 4 is 15. 15, so it succeeds. Apparently, yeah. it, con- it continues to chomp on the arm. <laughs> so the kids just stand in there and didn't even phase it. Okay. Uh, All right. Can I cast more? Uh, oh, go ahead. Muffins. What? Please. Any food? Is anyone eating food? D12 against me? Nine. Ten. Uh, yes. Can I take the food from the people? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I paid for this. Go get your own. Nope. We need it. Save the, save them. Save the arm. That guy's already dead. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'll just slap it out of their hand. It's on the ground now. Ouch. <laughs> well, <laughs> go ahead and hit it. <laughs> what am I hitting with? You're... Uh, Dexterity will be your modifier. She's, to slap she's it out. smacking the, the the muffin or whatever out the, of the, the loaf of bread out of this poor bastard's hand. That's probably 14. the sure, cat you... lady's poor sister. You They're hit French. It. They all have baguettes. It's a ho ho. Now D twelve against me to see if uh, he gets to it before you do. Really? Three. Oh, Two. Uh, he and a dog pounce on the baguette and tear it in half. Uh, he doesn't even bother to wipe it off. 
Does the gator na- uh, crocodile notice the dog? Wait, <laughs> the guy's on the ground? I no, punched he, him. He reached down and grabbed it. He's not on the ground. Oh, well, when he's reaching, can I, like, push him or something? <laughs> sure, hit him again. Kick him forward. <laughs> is that another... Is that strength, then? That'll be dex again. Well, dex? All right. Oh, no, four. Swing and miss. Camille, what kind of spell you want to cast? How about mirror image? Okay, of you? Mm-hmm. Sure. Four appear. So I dance around, right? <laughs> Trying to get the get. Crocodile! It's probably just standing there, just chewing away. It's like, oh man, I'm tripping on something. <laughs> Seriously? Still eating the arm. God damn it. Wow. Okay, I moved the child a little closer to it. <laughs> Wait, I thought the kids went away. This is oh, the illusion. That's your illusion. It's not falling for it, huh? Uh, the man on the ground that Daphne just started to kick uh, begins to scream out, I'm being repressed! I'm being repressed! Guards! <laughs> guards! I'm being repressed! Did the guards even come? They're, they're not oh, even No, more. they're busy. They're, they're busy. <laughs> But he's being repressed. Watch Monty Python's Holy Grail. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> well. The uh, giant crocodile begins to back up, dragging the body uh, toward the shore. Oh, that's not that good. That's not good. Okay. Um, you guys have each had a crack at it. Yeah. Yeah. Or a croc. <laughs> yeah, we had a crock at the, <laughs> crack at the crock. <laughs> so, are there rocks near us? On the other side, by the shoreline, mm. there will be small rocks. Hmm. How about shocking grasp? Everybody in this. Oh, sh- oh. gotta start somewhere. Ten. Fourteen. Uh, Zadar rolls a seventeen. Zadar can go first. Yikes! <laughs> well, you got its attention, Camille. <laughs> Not yet, because she hasn't done shocking grass. Yeah, she, has, she she hasn't done shocking grass. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, huh. I I hold her. Uh, I steady her hand for a second, <laughs> and I cast sleep. On the crocodile. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Go ahead. Roll okay. your dice. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the pool is 29. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's not asleep. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Daphne, you're it's up. Hit, it, it would have had to have taken a lot of damage at that point if this thing is as, as big as it's if it's a giant crocodile. Yeah. Um, it was worth I'm a shot. Throw my hand axe at it. Sure. Oh man, does ten hit? Uh, no, it does not. All right. Can I try uh, doing it again since I get two attacks? Do you have two hand axes? No, I only have one. So I just, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only have one. But... Now, now the important thing is roll a d12. Let's see if you manage to throw it into the drink or not. <laughs> Eat? You do not. It is in the grass. So, okay, I am that, looking around. Where has this thing come from? I mean, did it crawl out of a sewer or? Probably came out of the water. Okay. Uh, Camille, you're up. Oh, boy. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no. That's the better than I thought it was. Nine? No. Fuck. What does it take to hit it? Fourteen. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's turn. Who wants to D12 against me? Sure. Three. I can find a twelve. Twelve. Uh, it continues to drag the body towards the water. Everybody gets to go again. Zadar, you're up first. 
Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna break out the hand crossbow and uh, try to make a an aim um, either to the soft tissue in its mouth while it's eating, or I know this is gonna be difficulty. This is gonna be a high TC, <laughs> or uh, or an eye or something. So, huh? all right. So let's see. Okay, twenty five. Uh, you hit the face. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> piercing damage is, uh, it's eight piercing. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Yes, I'm going up to it to attack. <clears throat> okay. That's all I can do. Uh, all right. 17. Hits. And seven damage. Camille. Um. Da, 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 da. How far away from it am I? Uh, I don't know, eight feet. Well, you tried to shock and grasp it last time. You're within five feet. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I have a blanket. I try to throw over its head. <laughs> hey. Let's see if it's windy. Oh, no. Just in case it's cold. It's windy. Disadvantage. Oh, no. Uh, eight. Uh, the person behind you goes, yay, free blanket. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to throw the person at the gator. Crocodile. Good. They're a thief. The gator's turn. First attack, mouth. Uh, it's going after Camille. Uh, oh, crap. Tail. It's going after four, Zadar. <clears throat> so, uh, Camille, there are four of you. Uh, would a 12 hit you? I don't think it does. Uh, no. Uh, one of your mirror images disappears. Uh, with the tail swipe, uh, eight plus eight, 16. Does 16 get you, Zadar? Misses. Okay. Misses. Uh, the tail swipe is ineffective. Back to Zadar, round three. Okay. Uh, flying daggers, dagger, dagger. So, okay. two daggers. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, the first one hits with a 26. Okay. Uh, and that is a uh, eight piercing. Got and it. And the second is a 19 to hit. Does that nope. hit? Okay. And that is going to be a... Um, that's going to be six points of damage. Got it. Daphne? Hey. The crowd is now cheering. You aren't sure if they're cheering for you or for the crocodile. Probably for the crocodile. <laughs> uh, you said it needs 14 to hit. It's a cacophony. So yeah. there's 15 hits. Yep. And six damage. Got it. Is that it? Yeah, my other attack missed. Gotcha. Uh, Camille, you're up. I cast web on it. Hmm, interesting call. I'll okay. <laughs> that was good. That's a good idea. I'm tired of fucking uh, with it. 12, I don't think, would save against your spell, DC. Uh, you have pinned it and the corpse to the area. Uh... It is its turn, so it will try again. Still not break free. So, at advantage this round, Zadar, Daphne, and Camille. Zadar, round four. Okay. Uh, damage doesn't break the web, does it? It's, it's uh, cutting does. Up. Cutting does, but... Cutting damage. Slashing or uh, piercing. Mm. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, I mean, should we try to extract the body from the webbing? <laughs> well, if we cut it, though, it could get away. Or it could eat us. Either way, if we attack it, you know, it, it's still gonna damage well, the thing. Well, but we get advantage, right? Yeah. So, yeah. maybe we just try to kill it? Okay. In the web? I don't know. Uh, 
Dude, this is a new one on me. So yeah, okay, with advantage, I whip out the scimitar and um yeah, uh without activating green flame blade, I'm gonna go ahead and make a scimitar attack to the huh? crocodile. Because if I hit green flame blade, it's going to ignite the web. <laughs> oh, yeah, it'll be free. <laughs> uh, 18 to, to hit? Yep. Okay. And that is going to be uh, 11 points uh, slashing. That's going to add to its ability to get away. Yeah, I know. There's no F8. other way I could do it. <laughs> if you want to attack, you may do so at advantage, since it is currently webbed. Okay. All right, so 21 and 19. And it's 17. Yeah, 17 damage. Cool. Ouch. Very nice. Uh, what, what did you smack it with? Sword? Uh, I have two scimitars, yeah. Oh, okay. She's slicing and dicing. Uh, mm -hmm. Camille brings us to you. Okay, so I will use my quarterstaff to whack it. At, at advantage. Oh, that's right. Uh, 17? Yep. And I roll... Gosh darn it. Francis, I can't read. 1d8. <laughs> well, that was helpful. One. 67. Uh, it will make its attempt. Oh yeah, that shit's broken free. Uh, it slashes its tail and its head and it is now freed. Uh, it moves in the direction of backwards towards the water. Round five. Uh, it appears the giant crocodile is retreating. And it's leaving the body, right? The body is still webbed. Okay. How injured does it look? It's pretty banged up. Should we just kill it? Just let it go. Why? We can what? Make it Boots, man. He's doing what it, I mean, he's doing what a crocodile does. He eats stuff. I understand, but this thing's going to be a menace. It'll probably come back. <laughs> eh, it's somebody else's problem. <laughs> heroes. We're heroes. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> this is not a campaign. Uh, it, it, it's up to Zadar because he has an uh, initiative. So, uh, uh, yeah, I looked at that. Daphne. What do you want to do? <laughs> I would kill it. Get some yeah. needed. Okay. Yeah, at least I listened to a reason from Daphne for a change. Okay, and I, I'm going to go ahead and make that, That's like, oh, that hairstyle looks good on you. Most people couldn't pull it off. Pull it off, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, make an attack with the scimitar. Sure. I'm going to use my movement slashing. Uh, let's see. It's... Any critical fumbles means you lose your footing and slide into the water. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh yeah, it's not a critical fumble, but it's uh, <laughs> probably a miss. It's a 12. It is I, a miss. I rolled a four. <laughs> Daphne, you're up. Do I get to attack? If you want. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodile's moving fast. <laughs> 11 to 6. I don't even hit it. You also slip on the wet sod. Uh, Camille, your associates appear to want to kill this thing. Hey, you idiots. Just let it go. <laughs> Come on. We got stuff to do. And with that, the giant crocodile dips into the water and the blood streak follows it. Oh, gosh. Maybe a shark will eat it. I could have used some. 
Boots. God. Boots. Tunic. Mm-hmm. Ape. Belt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why not? Well, at, least, at least next week you know who will have murdered the child. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, the dead body is still pinned underneath the massive webs. Okay, so we go and I, I break out a dagger and cut through the webs to get to the body. Everybody roll investigation, please. Ugh, six. Uh, not too bad. Uh, 25. Well, uh, investigation's one of my things, so. Daphne, what's yours? Nine. Daphne and Camille are focused on the kilt. It certainly does appear to be from the Toman clan, <laughs> but Zadar notices something unusual. The body is about six feet tall and beardless. Mm. Definitely not Russian. Mm. It's those other people? It is not the Sensians. So this is not Rodrigo. It is not Rodrigo. Okay. I, I'm going to look. Is there is there a punk, uh, other than Gator Bites, uh, is there a, uh, any kind of like sword or <laughs> slashing damage to it? No, there is not. However, you do notice that the brass clasp, the belt, mm-hmm. uh, holding the kilt up is etched with the word Rodrigo. Inside the belt pouch <laughs> is 85 gold pieces and a drink token from the Surfside Tavern. Is this a male or female body? This is a male. It's a male. Well, maybe Rodrigo swings that way. I was say, investigate the butt. <laughs> Investigate the butt <laughs> as the crowd moves. It's the picture. Come on. Go ahead and do your oh, investigation no, there, Daphne. The <laughs> right? Oh, I rolled so bad. Eight. So I'm just looking at a butthole. <laughs> that's definitely I was about a to say, all you say, yeah, that's a butthole. Oh, yeah. The decedent's <laughs> the decedent's butthole relaxes as you move it. Uh, allowing its gas to fumigate oh, the area yeah. as you peer Thanks. down below. <laughs> Nothing else? Well, it farted on you. Uh, what Bodies do you, will do that. Do you want to taste it, see what his last meal was? or Are you looking for semen? Is that what you're looking uh, for? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I see a, a CSI cacophony. Give me a con check there, Daphne. <laughs> see if you can fight through the tears from the noxious but oh, then. no, it's a three. I am dying. Oh, you are just out of it now. I uh, take it the crowd just scattered. <laughs> yeah, the crowd is done. They they don't know what the uh, what the tiefling is about to do. They don't want to know. Clearly, this is not something for children or adults to watch. Oh, uh, it is disturbing beyond all get out. Where, where are the guards? Are the guards there? Or? There are no fucking guards, man. The guards oh, are all Jesus. busy. Uh, Thank God, because uh, desecrating a corpse might carry a heavy fine in cacophony. It might. <laughs> um, but see what action it got. I, um, Wait, did we take the money from the pocket? No, I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the pouch. and um, Now the crowd is running away as you strip the body naked. <laughs> exactly. With one of you surfing the butt uh, and you stripping off the kilt, clearly there's going to be some kind of manifestation of evil intent going on here. No. <laughs> no, I figured Rod- Rodrigo w- would probably want his clan kilt back <laughs> when we find him. Possibly, but you do realize that you just stripped naked this hairy human being. <laughs> naked if the hairy. kilt was all he was wearing so. he doesn't have that much hair so there, oh. there was some limited manscaping going on hey i mean my explanation is I'm returning it to its owner <laughs> wow uh i have to tweet that out <laughs> hashtag butt stuff going <laughs> on strangely in don't click on that link Kirk folks <laughs> Do not click on that hashtag because uh, you're God. not going to want to see it. You, you aren't going to want to see that. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now the viewers are just flocking. <laughs> it's like, what the hell's going on? Um, what's going on? What's the show? <laughs> what's the show? Murder da- Daphne goes with butt stuff. 
Murder hobo uh, butt stuff. <laughs> uh, Camille has peed herself from laughing at you two as you are stripping. <laughs> and keep in mind, you're both large uh, armored chicks looking kind of rough. So, hey. Uh, yeah. Everyone's got their kink. Yeah, well, everybody in Old Town doesn't want to know what your kink is. They've gone back to business. So you have successfully removed Rodrigo's kilt. You have successfully obtained the 85 gold pieces, as well as the drink token. Uh, I I checked the kilt for, for anything other than just the, the purse and the... So what are you supposed uh, to do about this body? Well, I've... <laughs> Give it back to the gator. Jed, just let the guards I know knew, where it I is. I knew you were going to throw the body back into the water. Are we going to throw it back into water? I wasn't going to throw it in, but we, I yeah. mean, we got Daphne's stuff Daphne's kicking that thing in. I am certain of that. Uh, are you looking for seminal stains on the kilt, or what are you weirdos? I mean, anything, anything. Uh, D12 <laughs> against me. Okay. 11. Uh, I'm not gonna see anything with a one. <laughs> no, but you smell something. Uh, I press the digit. <laughs> I, I cast press the digitation on, on the kilt. <laughs> the uh, brown skid mark re is removed magically. <laughs> what are you? The, what, hold on. What are you grimacing about? You're the one that's like, I want to check the anus. I didn't <laughs> say that. No, her. No. He's like, oh, that's gross. Really? Your eyeball on the old winker. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's cleaned anus. now. It's been dry cleaned. So there it is. <laughs> Well, Daphne's going to have fart in her hair for a while. Yeah. She... <laughs> oh, you got to walk up when You they... know, I can press to digitate that for you, too. Please do. <laughs> like <Good>. Febreze. <laughs> uh, Daphne kicks the body into the drink. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, butt liquor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The cat, the cat calls involving the buttocks region are going to continue for as long as you are in Old Town. Nice. There okay, go. we got we got to go to the bar or the brothel or something. Let's head to the well. There was a coin drink token for Surfside. Yeah. Uh, tavern. So. Okay. And that is strangely enough right next to the Rusty Vessel Arms, where ap apparently the Toman contingent are bunking. Okay. So let's head there, and worst comes to worst, we'll head to the brothel. So, and I'm casting Mendine on the kilt. It's gonna, it's gonna probably be a better condition than it was when Rodrigo. It's really cleaner. Cleaner. Daphne, let's see if you have an entourage D12 against me. What? Hold chicken. Yep, ten. Eight. Uh, a group of juvenile boys are following uh, off in the distance. Yelling, she was looking at his butt. She's a butt looker. <laughs> <laughs> As you pass through the city gates, uh, the jeers continue, but the boys do not enter city proper. Uh, the guards at the gate. <laughs> uh, you guys head up the steep incline of the road. Uh, you pass by the Flying J, who wants to D12 against me to see if me, it me, is me, available. Me, 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 me. Uh, yeah, you bet. I rolled a one last time. <laughs> oh, man. A Seven. one. Yeah, it's going to be about a half hour. Oh, fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's the only one in town. I mean... We better continue on our way. Yes. Uh, you go up, uh, all you see in the government plaza are the tents and the entourages. You see no dignitaries at this time. So clearly one of their uh, long-winded speeches is in progress. I assume you're headed towards the surf side? Yes. Uh, as you round in, it's uh, getting to be mid-afternoon by this time since Daphne was butthole inspecting. Uh, you wander down into the dock area and you quickly find the Surfside Tavern. Who wants to go in first? I'll go. Have we... Is this the place we got kicked out of? <laughs> uh, uh, night of long passing? No. No, no that's not the same not. one. 
Okay. Uh, mariners from ships that brought the delegations have filled the taverns on the dock, and the Surfside is packed with people. Uh, the harried staff look to have their hands full with a rough crowd, and any attempt to get the attention of the waiter or waitresses mm -hmm. uh, is low. Uh, one of the individuals does say, uh, check with Edmund, the bartender. Uh, everybody notices that there's blood stains and broken crockery all over the floor. Several patrons in this place are bleeding, black oh eye, scratches, uh, and missing teeth. I'm clearly, you have, clearly, you have just missed some type of altercation. Oh, damn the brouhaha. <laughs> okay. So it looked like the altercation is over. I mean, people are nursing their... Their wounds for the time being. Uh, okay. You can tell from the colors being worn. C -c colors. Colors. Oh, God. Colors. Oh, God. Uh, you got a bunch of different uh, mariners from different ships uh, from different parts of the country. So it's only a matter of time before this tinderbox goes up again. If you want to talk to Edmund, the bartender, you're going to have to now push a good your time. way through, guys. <laughs> Who All wants right. to go first? I'm short. I'll go. Uh, do you want to push or bob in between everybody's legs? I'll bob and weave. Go ahead. <laughs> Give me dexterity as your modifier. Mm -mm. Oh, well, that doesn't bode well. Seven. Uh, you find yourself slamming into butts as you go. Who wants to cut through next? Butts are the theme this evening, folks. No, I... <laughs> Not my fault. Uh, I'll try to maneuver my way through. Okay. So, uh, dex. Dex, if you're know. maneuvering, strength if you're going to push your way through. Uh, I already know what Daphne's going to do. <laughs> uh, you are predictable. Young okay. Uh, 21. Yeah, you bob and weave. You don't get any butt hair on you. Daphne, what do you want to do? Maneuver or push? Obviously we're pushing. Atta girl. <laughs> Strength is your modifier. Oh man, 11. Uh, I think going's a little bit slow. These guys are really packed in like sardines. Uh, let's see if somebody likes you. No, just average 10. Uh, they are too busy nursing their wounds. All three of you get to the front. Uh, and Edmund, uh, with a dirty, bloody rag over his arm, says, what can I do for you three who are clearly out of place here? Yes, we are. Um, dwarves in here last night, and I'll hold up the drink token. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Tolmans. God, they smell. Yeah. yeah. They eat fish by the head. Do you, do you remember one named Rodrigo? Yeah, he's the one that bought the tokens for his people. Okay. Do you know okay. what happened to him? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> See those two assholes over there? The ones with missing teeth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he did that? Well, he did part of that. Uh, they were gambling, and he apparently is one lucky son of a bitch. Mm. They Somebody didn't think it was luck. Wow. Okay. So did he walk out of here? Alone? You know, I don't remember him leaving. Are we still here? Sleeping? Wouldn't it be funny if we found him in a corner sleeping? <laughs> Could be. You guys can look around, but this place is packed with people. Yeah, yeah. Well, he'd be a short guy with big clothes on? If he traded or he's naked. I don't know. He got and his kilt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go uh, talk to the rugby team and see <laughs> how they're looking. Somebody comes up and looks at Camille. Hey there. Well, you're down there. See anything you like? I take my quarterstaff and whack him in the nuts. I knew that one was coming. That was go coming. Ahead, go ahead and hit him. <laughs> 12. 
Nut shot, fail army, here we come. A brouhaha erupts as the man gets whacked in the nuts and falls back into a sailor from a different vessel. This is taken poorly, and the man chucks him one in the jaw, spinning him back onto a table of more different sailors, knocking their drinks onto their lap. Edmund slowly lowers himself behind the bar as crockery begins to fly. <laughs> okay, I say we jump over the bar with Edmund. Dex check. Sure. <laughs> 13. 13 makes it. Uh, ooh, okay. Definitely a 24. Over the counter? Daphne, you jumping or are you going to Start swinging on people. Yeah. Okay, give me your dex check. 19. All three of you are behind it. Edmund looks at Camille. Dude. Thanks. You don't get to do that to me. I'm short. I'm short doesn't mean I gotta take that shit. Uh, Edmund, it was gonna happen anyway, so. <laughs> glasses shatter and spray down fragments upon you. Roadhouse. <laughs> sure, roadhouse. Uh, a general melee ensues. I cast. Did the coolers out. come out? <laughs> <laughs> the bouncers are certainly busy. Uh, a general sure. calamity can be heard uh, over on the other side of the bar. Anybody want to take a peek? <clears throat> I'll. <laughs> I'll take a peek above the bar and see if those two assholes are still there that we wanted to talk to. D12 against me? Okay. Because that's been going well. God damn it. Four. Six. Uh, just as you peek over, a human skull is slammed down onto the bar. The teeth embed into the wood and the guy's eyes slowly close. I'm like, oh! <laughs> the man responsible for said action raises his fists in victory and yells out, hey, give me something! And is promptly decked as a chair whacks his face. Nice. You lower yourself back down. Go back down. <laughs> I didn't see anybody. <laughs> I didn't see how, exactly. For several minutes, this continues, but slowly but surely, the din starts to subside uh, as each of you peeks up over the table. More walking wounded, several unconscious. Uh, the two individuals that you had spied earlier are sitting in the corner drinking. A fresh trickle of blood runs down the side of one of their heads. Nice. Perhaps we should take them some beer. Yeah, beer would be a good, good icebreaker. Or some shots. Yeah, shots. Sure. <laughs> uh, Camille, D12. We got a drink token. <laughs> That's Six. true. Nine. Uh, you find a broken bottle of something whisking away the glass shards. <laughs> <laughs> you walk over to the two men and I assume pour a little bit in their mug. Of course. You guys look like you could use this. Thanks. He's got that Tennessee smile going. <laughs> uh, give me a pers or give me a persuasion check, Camille. Oh boy, uh, that might work. Fourteen. Sixteen. Couple more shots in, you'll be attractive to me. Uh, I'll I'll give you the rest of the bottle. I just want to talk. What do you guys want? Uh, <laughs> short guy dwarf you gambled with him last night uh no he stole from us last night oh. chances are probably uh what happened to him did he walk out of here or well we kicked the shit out of him oh, that's and, fine. Uh, but and, did he uh, get up and walk out no he got up and flew we threw him out. Oh. Whoa, okay. What was the he three? wearing when that happened? Well, at the time, he was wearing that stupid skirt thingy that your friend there has, but uh, our friend uh, Tobias 
relieved him of that <laughs> after we threw him outside. Oh, shit. Yeah, are you missing tall guy? Hey, he's Tobias. Tobias is fairly tall. He's, yeah. uh, got some bad news for you. What? You might need to go down. Oh, no. He's not there. No, anymore. no, no. Uh, Your friend Tobias got eaten by no, a crocodile. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? Uh, Caitlin D12 against me. <laughs> I didn't tell him about the butt and stuff. Six. You smell like what he ate last night. Oh. oh. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Next time you won't be so quick to butt sniff. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, we kicked the shit out of him and uh, took back our, our losses that he stole from us. Mm. Okay, well, good to know. Thanks. Whatever. Okay. Well, All just in right. case you're looking for your friend Tobias, uh, you might want to kill down, that crocodile that's out the there. Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Cry. Eh, I don't give a shit about him. Oh, well, alright then. Alright. <laughs> we need to get the fuck out of here and look around some more. Yep. Yeah. Uh, As you guys head towards the door, you hear what did you call me? <laughs> Appears though uh, another brouhaha is as insane. <laughs> so I we go outside, yes. Yeah, yeah, we do. I I think at this point, let's just make our way to the brothel and so see, see what I happens. I turn around and cast fog cloud into the room. <laughs> nice. Yes, you may. <laughs> uh, underneath the door comes seeping fog. <laughs> uh, Bitches, that's what you get for disrespecting me. You should have had stink cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. That's exactly what she needs. Okay. Uh, you guys are currently here. Uh, the inn where they're staying is here and the brothel is there. All of it is conveniently it's con positioned. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like it got written that way. Yeah, yeah. So but is they there... threw him out and he didn't have clothes on and he didn't have any money. Hey, he might have been a hit at the brothel. <laughs> well, he's pretty short. Yeah. I don't know what that means to penis size. Maybe he's like Podrick. I don't know. Could be. Could be. So do you guys want to go to their inn or do you want to go to the brothel? Let's try the inn. Okay, we'll try their inn. Yeah. You go into the inn. Uh, an old man and an old woman are there. They look kind of old and spindly. Uh, how can we help you? We're currently full up. <laughs> Would you like a cookie? Oh, we would love a cookie. Thank you. Do you have any coffee? I have tea. Mm, thank you, but no. So, have you... Who's eating a cookie? I oh. take a cookie for later. And we've taken it. <laughs> <laughs> we've taken yeah, it. We okay. it. Cowards. <laughs> okay. What do you want to say to Mr. and Mrs. Spindley here? So, have you seen Rodrigo? Oh, yes. He's a very nice young man. Uh, is, is he here? No, he hasn't been here since last night. Oh, okay. Um, what time yeah. was he here last night? Uh, he was here just before he went off. Uh, he wanted to do something called hooching. I assume he went to the liquor store. Okay. That's what I would have assumed. <laughs> Apparently uh, it means something else. <laughs> uh, What's it mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, it's best to ask. It's best to ask Rodrigo. Could we look at his room? Oh, that wouldn't be right. Well, he's missing. His, his... Heavens to Murgatroyd. That's horrible news. I know. Oh, God, it's Snagglepuss. <laughs> his, his compatriots are very worried about him, and we're just trying to turn over any stone that we could to find him. I will go check on his room if you would like, yes. but I cannot allow you to go in That's there. That's fine. If you would just check, please. Now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the meantime, is there a roof to this inn? 
No, it's just an open. <laughs> it's an open ceiling. Oh, no. <laughs> the Can roof I... access. Is that what you mean? Can we get up to the roof? Uh, the husband says, "I suppose so." Could you show us how to get there? Oh no. Stairs. Okay. You guys go up to the stairs. Yes. <laughs> you guys go up and you notice a beautiful sunset is hitting Cacophony. Oh, it's sunset. Wow. Damn. Cacophony is so beautiful. So um, how far can we see? You get a good whiff of dead fish. Ugh. Ugh. Not me. What? It's not me. <laughs> no, you smell like ass. That's right. <laughs> so can we oh. see anything around us? Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. You can see all the buildings. So mm. Can we, look... we see the brothel from here? Oh, yeah, it's right next door. Okay. Uh, you know what? I I'm going to go ahead and say there are four individuals here on this roof. Okay. So who's the fourth? Well, what time of day is it? Is it like 420? Uh, no, it, it, it's about sunset. Uh, the four individuals each have a musical instrument. Oh, okay. It, Bart's run. They appear to be tuning it up. <laughs> Bart's run. <laughs> One of them clears his throat and begins a sonnet. <clears throat> oh, Lord. She loves you. Yeah, yeah. She loves you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are are these guys like the Fab Four or something like that? <laughs> so, it's the Beatles. <laughs> if we look down around on the ground, do we see anybody? Any naked bodies? Nothing? No, no naked bodies. You do see a couple uh making out on the side of the brothel though. Yeah, well that's kinda hot. Uh, One of them. Well, short. I got a butt sniffer and a voyeur so far tonight. So hey, yeah. pick your kink. <laughs> the, it's the Hotel Moliere. <laughs> oh, nice. Could it be any more murdery? Um, <laughs> so we... Don't don't get the room by the stairs. <laughs> I guess we go back down. Now, Daphne, were you downstairs waiting for him, or did you come up to the roof with us? I have just waited. I guess I can just wait. Uh, the little old lady takes her time while those two are dicking around up on the roof, checking all the sides for dead bodies. Uh, she points out to you, Daphne, uh, Rodrigo is not in his room and his bed hasn't been slept in. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, then, then these two come down the stairs. Okay. I guess we go to the brothel. Yeah, let's go check the brothel. A mix of alcohol, vomit, and heavy powder assaults your nose as you enter the lower class brothel. Man, we need better brothels It's always here. vomit. God. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the docks, man. Do they have any high class brothels here? Yes. I hope uh, we get to see one sometime. A woman with a powdered face greets you and introduces herself as the manager, Lady Chatterley. Chatterley. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, English majors everywhere cringe. Yeah, they're like, oh. <laughs> uh, Daphne, just watch the movie. I highly recommend at least the first seven. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, she asks, uh, "What? What do you guys want?" We're... Short guy killed last night. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. He was not wearing a kilt. Uh, the lady looks around and goes, Hildy! Hildy! Uh, on first, second, and third glances, it will appear that Hildy has had a pretty busy night and is ready to call it a day. Uh, <laughs> Hildy... Pretty much. Oh. Uh, see, you know, Dave and I say that, we're just demonized but you two can get away you with guys get it, you like guys that. get away with it They're female prerogative <laughs> <laughs> well uh, technically you know, I, you know uh, dudes can I am tonight <laughs> lady lady chatterley asks her about rodrigo hildy admits that she had several gentlemen callers and can't really remember uh, particulars 
after describing the naked hill dwarf, uh, it sparks her memory, and she refers to him as Mr. Warhammer. Oh, and, well. And, and plainly recalls uh, his prowess in the bedroom and that he paid in gems. Oh, and so it was a good time for you. He was a righteous lover, if you know what I mean. Good for Hildy you, will Hildy. point out that the hill dwarf came in without britches, but had gems tucked away in his beard. I he was saying his hefty... anus? <laughs> no, because Daphne had find him. Uh, he paid a hefty <laughs> sum for an hour's worth of work and left her and left with one of her pink lacy skirts to cover himself. Nice. Oh, what time was this? <laughs> so we're looking for a dwarf in a tutu. There we go. <laughs> a pink tutu. Uh, it was about two o'clock in the morning, as she recalls. Uh, her brain has been dislodged. Mm -hmm. Does uh, did she see which direction he pirouetted <laughs> into? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I don't really recall. I give Come her on, a gold Hildy. piece. <laughs> Your vagina got a good workout. A gold piece. I mean, come on! It's just a, it's just just pointing a direction. <laughs> she points at the door. Oh Jesus! Come on, Hildy. All right. I'm a working girl. I I got kids. I Slide another one. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So one from Zadar, and how much from Camille? Ten. She just made twelve. So. And Daphne, you gonna slip her any gold? She gets one. Cheap bastards. Uh, Hildy is a one on charisma, by the way. Oh. Uh, however, she is a 20 for performance, so she is an artiste. Very good for her. Wow. Uh, with that amount of money, she points out that he was going to hawk something. Uh, she pointed him in the direction of the House of Wonderments. At two but I'm not sure he went that way. And they're open 24 hours. <laughs> How does he have anything to hawk? He's naked in a tutu. His anal cavity is surprisingly copious. Yeah, he's got his prison wallet. Okay, I guess we need to go there. He's got an ass pen. He will stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool 2, baby. All right, let's go there then. Okay. House of Wonderments? Yep. Yes, House of Wonderments. Daphne, you game for that, or you want to stick around the brothel? I'll go with them. Oh, now, didn't Daphne have her world rocked mm -hmm. at one of the brothels? Yeah, one of them, but not yes. that one. No. Yeah, not that. Not, not that, that one. That. Uh, the pawn shop is quite busy with sailors cashing in trinkets for some drinking money. The proprietor, Hadrian Modoc, which you guys remember from a few adventures ago, mm -hmm. will be busy for a few minutes uh, before you can speak with the party. Uh, would you like to wander the aisles and look at the goods available or wait for Hadrian to finish and ask him questions? Well, I mean, we can do both, right? Sure. Uh, everybody D20 if you're looking around. It's just like, I remember how this went the last time we were in here. <laughs> 14. 14? Uh, what are we rolling? Investigation or? Nope, straight up D20. Straight Three. Up D20. Daphne finds Jack and shit. Two. Shit, of course. <laughs> Zadar finds Jack and shit. Uh, Camille, you find something. Um... Uh... It is a comb and brush set. Uh, it is engraved with the letter S upon it uh, and a clef and a treble. Hmm. One on the brush, one on the comb. I will buy it. As you guys wait, Hadrian finally gets done. Uh, he looks at your purchase and he says 75 gold. There you go. Very nice. And we'd like to ask you some questions. Make it fast. There's a line. Uh, dwarf in a tutu. Didn't they kind of come in here last night? Yeah, yes. Um, did, did he pawn something? Uh, he gave gems. Oh, okay. He perused mm. a lot of items until he found what he was looking for. Mm. What, what did get? he... The singing battle axe. 
Oh. Strangely okay. enough, it was turned in by some tall humans in armor earlier that day. Shining armor? Mm hmm. Is there another kind? <laughs> One of them female? Uh, D12 against me? Nine? Eight. Ah, uh, no. Was she a bit of a cunt? It was a guy. Was he oh. a bit of a cunt? Uh, those people are arrogant anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so it's probably from that entourage. So. Possibly. But uh, the dwarf was happy to get it back. So um, where do you go after that, do you know? Out the door. Did you see which way he went? Uh, no, I've been busy for the last three days. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. You do know how that operates, don't you? What? The brush and the comb. Well, no, tell me. Hold the hold one or the other in your hand. Which is in your hand, the brush or the comb? The brush. <laughs> Say, sing me a song. Sing me a song. The item animates and begins to brush your hair while singing a nice oh. melody. I like Aww. that. That is sweet. <laughs> nice. That's very relaxing. Thank you. What about the comb? Small magical item. It'll do the same thing. Hmm. Okay. Usually used on gentlemen or those with a furry man pelt. <laughs> hmm. Okay. In case or they want to part their chest hair. Yeah. It says, says the woman who inspected a butthole earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just go, ew? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Mary, Mary, are we talking about my own pet up here or down here? Yes. Okay, good to know. <laughs> it, wherever you hold it, it will activate. Okay, good to know. Thank you. For, for one minute and then it will stop. One minute? That's not very long. That's a long time, though. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, there, Jan Brady. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh, he has no idea where the asshole went. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. De nada. <laughs> De nada. <laughs> so we uh, we walk out, kind of skin area, see what is in proximity. Uh, everybody, perception check. Oh lord. Err. Uh. Eighteen. Mm, seven. Oh, jeez. Um, Nineteen. Ah, uh, Camille does not hear it, but Zadar and Daphne hear a melodic tone coming from across the street where there is a burned out building. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh... See how everything is nice and tight on the. Map? Yes, yes. So I. Remarkable. So we follow the melodic music. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> What's going on? Don't hear it. I don't hear anything. I hear it. There's music coming from the, the burnt out house. <laughs> All right. As you get as you get closer to the building, it sounds like two steps from hell. Very powerful warrior music. You also hear the sounds of fighting. Uh oh. Mm. That's why it sings. <laughs> okay, so yes, we'll we'll look in. <laughs> the flickering oil lamp exposes three individuals. One is seems to be lashed to a burned pillar, and the other two are effectively kicking the shit out of them. Uh, the individual lashed to the pillar is wearing a pink tutu mm. and is bleeding from several spots on his face. Uh oh. So who's doing the kicking? No. Uh, for lack of a better term, two thugs. Uh, the rope that is being used to lash the individual to the pillar is glowing a faint blue. Next to him is a battle axe and that is the source of the tune. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, that is uh, that is a rope of binding, something like that. Obviously, the two individuals <laughs> stop their beating and say, "What do you want?" Maybe we want a chance to beat him too. Persuade me. Twelve. Beat it, or you'll get some of what he's getting. Right there, boys. That's not going to persuade him very well. <laughs> well, not they, in the way that we intended. <laughs> they take great offense and square off with you two, leaving the nearly unconscious Rodrigo uh, lashed to the pillar. Everybody roll initiative. Rolling initiative Twelve. with a 14. Daphne? Eight. <laughs> they are going to kick the shit out of you guys. Eight. Yep. First one goes after five, oh, Daphne. Man. Second one goes after not six, one, Camille. Uh, They're going to try and spear you two uh, on Daphne. In a good way or a bad way? <laughs> uh, 14 doesn't get you, does it, Daphne? No. Uh, 19 gets Camille, though, for yeah. sure. Oh, shit. And Camille's hit for seven hit points of damage. Uh, mm. Next up is the 14, Zadar. Okay. Uh, scimitar out. I uh, attack the asshole that that speared um, Camille. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. 15 is what you need to hit these thugs. Okay. Uh, I'm activating green flame blade. Okay. Uh, that is eight points of slashing damage followed by... Uh, let's see. Um, eight points of flame damage, and I'm uh ignite the other flame on the other target, the other guy. Gotcha. Okay, and he is gonna take one d8 of fire damage. So, and that is gonna be a five. He takes five fire damage. Next up is twelve, Camille. Uh, so there's just two of them, yes? Correct. It's not fair. I have such good stuff and I can't use it. <laughs> um, okay. I guess I'll just try to hit him with my quarter staff. Sure. Thirteen. Negative. Daphne. <clears throat> I attacked the guy that tried to attack me. Yep. I'm assuming six doesn't hit, but this 23. 23 hits. Six. Not <laughs> even <come> close. <laughs> Seven damage. That will work. Uh, everybody perception? Uh, 20 for perception. Oh, Lord. Four. Three. Not perceptive. Daphne and Camille, you are currently engaged. Zadar, you hear noise behind you as a third thug, yeah. a.k.a. leader, comes in behind you. Before we all and break at the same time. Bol <laughs> bolstered by confidence. Camille, the one on you. Uh, two plus four is six. Daphne. 17 plus four is 21. Daphne takes, whoa, that's a murder hobo. Uh, eight damage. Uh, Zadar, your guy is going to swing his glaive at you. 14 plus 5, 19. 
Uh, 19 hits, but I use my reaction to uncanny uh, dodge. So whatever damage, I'll half it. Uh, 1d10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 is 13. Halved is 6. Uh, the blade is now singing, or the uh, battle axe is now singing the Benny Hill theme. Oh. <laughs> You're up. Nice. I'm up. Yep. Okay. Uh, pff, uh, Mr. Glaive. Uh, the, the other two are still engaged with Daphne and Camille. Yes, they have formed a triangle around you guys. You guys are the monkey in the middle. Okay. Uh, all right. I am going to... Uh, that guy with the glaive has at least 10 feet between me and him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I am going to use my movement and go ahead and attack him uh, again with the scimitar. Not okay. again, but yeah, I'm attacking yeah. him. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 22 to hit. Yep. Okay. 15 At, for all three of them. Uh, with green flame blade, he's going to take, uh, let's see, uh, eight slashing damage. And uh, he's going to take uh, four fire damage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ignite his friend again for another... Uh, uh, three points of fire damage. Same as before. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Green Flame Blade doing that eats up my bonus because it doesn't say, you know, you must use a bonus action or anything like that in the thing. So I still have bonus action, I think, right? I suppose so. Okay. So I'm going to bonus action sneak attack. Um, On who? On uh, the one that's engaged with Camille, the one that I set on fire. You'll turn your back to the guy that <laughs> oh, is <okay>. attacking you. <laughs> Sorry. You, well, you can, but he's going to get advantage on you. Okay. Well, uh, I could always use my reaction. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to sneak attack the dude. Hit him for 10 points of sneak attack damage. Okay. Which one? Camille or Daphne's? Uh, Camille's. Gotcha. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Camille, you're up. You got the 12. Daphne got the 8. So we've got... <clears throat> so we've got three? Yep, one on each of you. Okay. Burning down the house. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um... Okay, I'll do something. It's already burnt. It's not like you're going to do more damage. Yeah, boring. I was about to say. Except kill Rodrigo. Yeah, I'll, I'll do something boring. Ray of Sickness. Okay. Hey, Ray of Sickness is effective. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Usually. 12. Uh, don't I have to save? Or do you have to hit me? I have to hit you first. Oh, okay. Uh, 12. Swing and a miss. Uh, roll a d20 straight up. Let's see if it goes towards Rodrigo instead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, it's Frank. You, you gotta expect 13. these things. <laughs> it does not go after Rodrigo. Uh, next up is Daphne. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast Bless on us. Okay. Everybody gets what? Plus two or plus one? Uh, you get a, you can roll a d4 and add that to your attacker saving throw. Very good. Is that the only thing you're doing? Yeah. My turn. Uh, on Camille. 11 plus four is 15. Yeah. Uh, Daphne. 7 plus four is 11. Misses. 17 plus 5, 22 on Zadar. Uh, 22 hits. <laughs> uh, Camille. 3 plus 2 is 5. Uh, Zadar, 9 plus 
three is twelve. I'm gonna uncanny dodge. For six. Six. Yes. Uh, Zadar, your turn. Okay. Round three. Let me mark my damage first. Sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack the boss again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. <coughs> Uh, let's see. Nineteen to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, these guys aren't well armored, I guess. He the boss is wearing chain at fifteen. The other two are hide and shield at fifteen. Okay, uh, I hit the boss with uh, eleven points of slashing damage. The fire damage will be uh, seven points of fire damage, and I ignite Camille's friend again. With uh, three points of fire damage. Got it. Camille. I will do shocking grasp. Okay. Thirteen. Mm, nope. Daphne. All right. A attack. Fifteen's your magic number, everybody. All right. Got a seven, but the other one is. <laughs> oh, very nice. Damage, damage modifier. Okay. No fumbles and only one critical so far today. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to also to my Divine Smite with it also. I was about to say. Oh, this guy is fucking toast. Smite the mother! Go. Yeah. <laughs> Eat with it. So, it's 16 damage plus my 4, right? I can roll that. 19 damage? Uh... Blood splatters across Rodrigo's face as you oh, kill, poor guy. <laughs> kill you, your guy. Uh, top of the order, Camille. He's dead, right? Yours oh, yeah. is dead. Yeah. Uh, six plus four is ten. That's not going to do it. Uh, Zadar, 19 plus five is 24. 24. That's uh, going to get you. Yeah. Another 10, uh, plus 3, 13. Uncanny dodge reaction. How many of those do you have? Uh, it doesn't say that. Let's see. Uncanny dodge. Sorry, I'm looking it up real quick. Uh, <clears throat> uncanny dodge, it just says when an attacker you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attacks. It doesn't have any... Any charges limitation. fair yeah. enough zadar you're up okay how many points did i get hit with then uh 13 so six six okay six is the ongoing number okay all right um so i'm up okay i'm gonna go ahead and um uh stay focused on the boss and stay on target stay on target stay on target uh Come on, Porkins. I rolled, I rolled it. <laughs> Porkins. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, 27 to hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, six points slashing damage. Fire is coming up. Fire is going to be six points of fire damage. I'm going to ignite his friend again. Mm-hmm. And that is eight points fire damage. Got it. Camille, <clears throat> your guy's looking a little rough. Well, it's about time. Mm -hmm. mm. And don't forget, you get a, what is it, Daphne, D4? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can add D4 to your attack roll if you need it. I guess I'll try Shocking Grasp. Okay. Oh, for the love of 
God, three. <laughs> that D4 ain't going to help you there. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Um, you're just making a bow to Jesus is all you're doing. <laughs> Who's, sorry, I guess I'll go after the one that's like killing Zadar. Okay. Not killing me, the, but the boss. I, am, I am taking damage. Yeah. 17 to hit. Hits. All right, and then six damage. New round, round five. Uh, on Camille, seven plus four is 11. I'm assuming that misses. Uh, Zadar, one through four, five or six for Daphne. That's a three, so going after Zadar. Okay. Uh, three plus five is eight. That is going to be a miss. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am going to pull a funny face on the, <laughs> on the guy, a cartoon-like face, and uh, I'm going to cast uh, Tasha's hideous laughter on him, so he's got a wisdom save of 15. 18 on the die. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you said wisdom? Mm-hmm. Uh, zero. So 18 on the die. Damn it. Uh, you are not funny. Not no. funny at all. Uh, no. Camille, you're up. Um, nothing I do works. It's because you're a necromancer. <laughs> There's nobody dead to animate around me. I've got, a, I've got a question for you. When an arcane trickster uses a spell as its attack, can it bonus action sneak attack? No, I would say no. No, just only on a melee attack, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could be wrong, but no, I'm you're not. you're probably <laughs> right. You're probably right. All right, I'll try shocking grasp again. Okay. You let have your D4 switch. if it's close. Let me switch my die. It's not like we're the critical row, uh, roll crowd where people are correcting you in real yeah. time. <laughs> Fuck those guys. I don't care. Um, that is... Our show's better. 12? Uh, if you want to roll the D4 and add it, you might hit them. Go for it. What you roll? See it. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes are bad. Hey, you preach into the choir, sister. <laughs> That's for a contact, so you don't know. Um, <laughs> one. Swing and a miss. Daphne, you're up. All right. Oh, hit the wrong one. Damn it. Damn it. Clicking the wrong dice. Ah, I'm clicking everything. Just keeps opening. Roll right. all the dice. That's right. Roll Literally. everything. All right. 13 doesn't hit, but 15 hits. 15 does hit. All right. And. Whoa, it just bugged out. Nine damage. Close. Uh, top of the order. Uh, Camille, 19 plus four. That's going to get you. Uh, and we'll go odd even this time. Odds that are even Daphne. Five. Uh, he hates you, Zadar. Yeah. Uh, 17 plus five is 22. Uh, Camille take six damage and Zar take I'm gonna five, dodge and parry plus three, eight, so take four damage. Okay. Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yikes. All right. Uh, yeah, I am... <sighs> this Is this guy looking rough? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hope so. 
Yeah, at this point. Well, you guys have done 57 hit points to him. Okay. I am going to, again, I'm going to slash attack him. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. 24 to hit? Yep. Uh, that is 11 points of slashing damage. He's dead. Oh, <laughs> nice. Didn't even have to light his ass up. Just. <laughs> uh, Camille, you're up. So what have I got? Oh, wait. I, I've got a bonus action. So uh, I could sneak attack the guy on Camille, right? Uh, you could. All right. I'm going to go. Got a roll to hit? Mm -hmm. Or does it just happen? Okay. Oh, no, it does not just <laughs> I was happen. Hoping, I was hoping, you know. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bonus action, sneak attack, uh, dagger, probably. Okay. Uh, 17 to hit? It's. Okay. And let's see. And that is going to be. That ain't right. <laughs> Sorry. Hit one too many dice. I was like, that's not right. Okay. Uh, 14 points of sneak attack damage. That's 3d6. So. Gotcha. Camille. Ray of Frost. Okay. Mm, 12. Uh, Daphne, how many times does she get the bless? One or constant? I think it's just. I think it's just once. Yeah, I think. I think you lose it once you use it. It just says whenever, whenever a target makes an attack or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to that attack roll or saving throw. Uh, oh, what's the, the duration? Spell last. Yeah. Uh, up to a minute. Okay. So. Uh, Camille, go ahead and add a d4 if you want. We'll try if I can read it. <laughs> you can do it. Mm. Holy crap. What, really? I hope you didn't make those dice. <laughs> I didn't. I just, my eyes are really dry. Uh, I think it's a one. I don't know. Uh, roll a d20, because that one goes wide. Oh, no. 14. Does not hit Rodrigo. A Daphne, put this fucker out of his misery. Please. <laughs> yeah, Camille was not built for melee. Yeah. <laughs> do you have mage armor? Yes, I do. Um, you gotta cast it. <laughs> I know, I forgot. <laughs> 15 hits. Uh, the rolls I've been doing wouldn't save her from it. Eight damage? That is enough. Finally, the third guy goes down. Not bad. Uh, 42, 56, and 68. These guys were wow. not easy. Uh, Rodrigo's axe goes silent. Why? Fight's over. Hmm, oh, okay, so you don't us. have to wield it for it to sing, just when there's battle going around. Correct. It'll sing. Oh, okay. That is kind of cool. Yeah, That's let's use cool. it to cut them loose. <laughs> oh, yes, no, it's a, it's an enchanted rope. So with the person dead, does the, does the rope... Fall? They still tied him. Oh, okay. Are you cutting it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, no longer an enchanted rope. Enchanted rope. <laughs> you got to know it. it uh, no, we could have just untied it and I could have attuned to it, right? Could have. <laughs> uh, you have freed Rodrigo, who is covered in the opponent's blood still. Uh, he wakes from his mild coma. Who are they? Where are they at? <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> They're on I the am floor. not an asshole. I am Tolman. All right, Tolman. Uh, Rodrigo, <laughs> we have been looking for you all day. Your I have been are... here the whole day. Oh, that's your Apparently. fault. Apparently. Gosh. Uh, Where are my people? Take me to my people. Uh, first, yeah. first, I got this for you. 
hand him his kilt. Put your fucking kilt on. He drops trowel. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that pink tutu hits the deck, and you guys can clearly see the war hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why I did it. Well, clearly. Is, is that warranted? Yes. Okay. Yes, the nickname is warranted. As soon as that pink tutu hits the deck, you can but, see why. Oh. Oh. Nicely done. Uh, you can wield that thing like an axe. Uh, <laughs> Rodrigo hikes up his kilt, goes, I thought I had money in here. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, you have successfully found Rodrigo. Uh, the Toman population will be quite happy to have him back. Uh, the Sessians, eh, not so much. Yeah, I want to fuck her up. <laughs> yeah, so does Rodrigo. Uh, He's got his axe now. <laughs> that's true. Uh, not bad. Came in on time. Uh, Caitlin? Yeah, Kyle. <laughs> Damn. You we really we did on. it. We really came in on time. 10 o'clock on the nose. Yep. What'd you think, Caitlin? It's good. A lot of venturing around. and A lot of butt sniffing, too. A lot of butt. So much butt's going on. Hashtag butt stuff. Oh, the butt. <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> hey, I, I did not tell her to do that. That's on no, her. That's fine. Yeah. Yes. And fight the gays into a campaign. We do all the gay things. Yes. Oh man. I mean, what, it what you did wouldn't classify as gay, just morose. Could You're you imagine if, a dead guy's butt? Could you imagine <laughs> if we had Blake in on this party? No. That's true. No. Oh. Ah. <laughs> did you have fun though, Caitlin? It was fun. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Killing uh, David, what'd you think? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have any kids for you. <laughs> well, we, we had an image of one, but um, true. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Yeah, the search for Rodrigo, that was, yeah. I thought it was clever. Yeah, it was clever. It was fun. So, uh, yeah. Last but not least, Carrie. I didn't get any coffee. Or yeah, please. we never got coffee. You sure didn't? Well, you almost got tea bagged. <sighs> That's not the same. <laughs> it is you know, not the same if we didn't even like stop to see like the dead body we would have like found him and never realized this other guy was dead you probably would have wandered around the docks but not having a clue as to where it would have been right Plus, you wouldn't have had the uh kilt so mm -hmm. uh yeah. what did i say once rescued rodrigo will reward the pcs with 500 gold pieces and gems or 1,000 gold pieces if they brought him his kilt. Nice. There you go. All uh, right. On the body of the thug leader, you would have found 200 gold pieces and a potion of extra healing. 50 Ooh. gold pieces on each of the other two thugs. So 300 gold pieces, potion of extra healing, and 1,000 gold pieces and gems for saving Rodrigo and his masculinity. Hey, uh, all in all, I would say a successful mission for our lucrative day. <laughs> permanent adventurers. It makes up for some of their losses. Yeah, Commanda <laughs> needs to like not be an asshole anymore. He's turning into a politician. Aww. He well, is. He's, he's, he's got it's a job, the, it, man. We gotta separate the man from the office. You know, we gotta look at it like that. I'm just saying. So, we know Famanda. So, <laughs> can you even really know anyone? That's you true. Anyone yourself. Mm. People don't that's know who they true. are. Well, that man has saved our lives. So. No, that's true too. Yeah. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. the Cacophony <laughs> Edition. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, or as uh, Carol says, good stuff. Uh, the link is down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot or the talk show, M Hobo Inc., Gmail, or Twitter, hit us up. Let us know. We will get you worked in here. Uh, if you missed Tuesdays Between the Rolls, it was all about Odd Fish Games' newest offering. Check it out. Also, check out oddfishgames.com. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope to see you on Saturday as that campaign grinds to an end. Uh, 
We will see if they can finish it. I don't think they will. I think they need two more episodes. They'll drag it out for the rest they'll of my life. drag it out uh, or they'll fail. Folks, for all of us, have a great night. We'll see you on Saturday. Do the wave and let's get the hell out of here. Bye-bye. Okay. And transition. So tired. <laughs> Shut up, butt sniffer. <laughs> and hang on. Done. <laughs>